you must be wondering what I'm doing with this review queue. What happened recently, I was demonstrating my 11 years old kid on how to put the similar colored cubes together and he was working on it and haphazardly he was trying to solve it. And I was looking patiently at the Ruby Cube and I realized and I just thought about life and I realized sometimes life becomes a mess like a Ruby Cube. And I realized that there is so much to learn in life from this small Ruby Cube. So in today's video, I'll be talking about few takeaways from my observation of Ruby Cube. So while we are solving a Ruby Cube, no matter how much entangled it gets, it still remains colorful and beautiful. So similarly in life, whether we are in a mess or we are going through some hardships, the surroundings remain the same, the sun still rises, the stars still twinkle, the bird still chips. But we become so much engrossed at looking at the problems that we fail to recognize the beautiful and colorful world around us. So my second lesson is to make something you need to break something. So what happened was my son while he was following a ruby cube, he had made some great efforts in making some of the strips. But while he was trying to complete it, he had to break some of the strips. And he was not willing to do that. And I had to jump in and I had to tell him that, you know, in order to make the ruby cube, it's impossible to make it without breaking it. Isn't it true in life? In order to achieve something, sometimes we need to let go of some things that we have accumulated over a period of time. And it's not just materialistic things, sometimes it about, it's about thoughts. In order to learn new things, we need to unlearn. Nothing can be poured in a cup which is filled up to the brim. An empty cup, on the other hand, is ready to receive what life has to pour in it. Success is always two steps forward and one step backward. So my third life lesson is, it's important to be connected to the roots. So while solving a Rubik's Cube, you need to start with the center. Until and unless the center color is fixed, we won't be able to weave colors around it. And similarly, if we forget our connection to our roots, we'll feel disconnected and we won't feel fulfilled. And the stronger your connection with the roots, the more stronger you will feel mentally and emotionally and you will evolve as a better person. And my fourth life lesson is, life is full of twists and turns, ups and downs. Just like Ruby Cube, life is full of ups and downs, twists and turns. However, as long as we know that where we are heading to and what is going to be our final destination, it will be easy to accept those ups and downs and twists and turns and we would be taking them as a part of life. So despite of all the hurdles, we should never lose focus and never lose the track of our goals and aspirations. The fifth life lesson for me is it's important to solve the Ruby Cube as a whole, not just one phase. In life what we do is we concentrate and we focus all our energy on just one thing and that is money. And we all have a strong feeling that once we get rich, very rich, everything will fall in place. But that's not true. The most important aspects of life are good physical health, good mental health, good relationships, good family life, peace, happiness and bliss. So my next life lesson is thinking and planning is more important than execution. So just like in Ruby Cube, no matter how good or fast you resolve the sides of cube, unless and until you think and observe and plan, you won't be able to solve the cube completely. Similarly in life, it's important to think, observe and plan before we rush for execution. If we fail to plan, we plan to fail. So my next life lesson is all problems in life can be solved. Just like in Ruby Cube, all problems of life can be solved. No matter how hard it becomes, no matter how frustrating it becomes. Sometimes you need practice, sometimes you need to be consistent and most importantly, sometimes you need to have patience. And sometimes you need to Google your problems to seek advice on the next steps. So with this, we are coming to the end of this video. And before ending this video, I would like to share a fun fact with you. The inventor of Rubik Cube, Arno Rubik, 
himself took one month to solve this Ruby cube before introducing it to the world. So keep sorting, keep smiling, and goodbye for now.